what went in the making of this? I'm sure it must have been challenging to shoot the water sequences. I did have some sequences which were in uh, pretty deep water. Uh, where, you know, uh, you know, part of the hospital, the basement area does get flooded and there's a whole action sequence there. I can't swim. But did you guys have jitters that, Acha, season 2 aara hai, you have to live up to the expectation that, you know, one was such a big hit? I won't call it jitters, but yeah, because the record, the track record of the digital uh, platforms, ha it has been like the second season has not uh, surpassed the success of first season that is... I mean, that is what I have heard. When you say yes to a show, do you have to like actually keep your director's mind on the side and then just get into the shoes of an actor? I am mainly an actor only. I've, I've always been like a working actor so and I've directed like barely one and a half films. Hi, this is Mohit Rana. Hi, I'm Konkona Sen Sharma and you're watching us on Bollywood Hangama. <laughs> Intense, gripping, spine tingling, these are all words associated with Mumbai Diaries. And Mumbai Diaries 2 is back today on Bollywood Hangama. With me, Urmin, I have the lovely Konkna Sen Sharma. How are you doing? I'm very good. Thanks for having me, Urmin. Thank you. And Mohit Raina, my God, how are you doing? Very good. This is the perfect start to a morning to see the two of y'all and bus pure din ki energy jo hai wo high hone wali hai. <laughs> but guys, I'd like to directly get into the memories that are associated with Mumbai floods. Do you all have any memories? Were you all here? Do you have you all heard of things? It's so close to everyone's heart. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> that was my initial uh, year in Mumbai. And I still remember one of my uh, nephews had come down. Uh, from Rajasthan and I had gone to help him in the college admission in, in Chembur. So while returning back, I thought I'll just go and meet my friend in Bandra. So while I was coming back, that's when the, the rain had already started, hmm. but that was the time when everything just came to standstill. So I did spend like 48 hours around in, in Carter Road. Bandra. And this is a very normal day. I mean, I yeah, think we have seen a zoom in what about you? Konka? I actually, <clears throat> I was quite lucky because, uh, you know, I was about to shift to Bombay. This is 2005. That's the year, I'm, I call it the year of the flood, <laughs> the biblical catastrophe. Mm -hmm. And I moved in August. So when this was happening, end of July, we were watching TV, the news, pe dekh rahe the, and really thinking, ki, pata nahi, is this a good idea to shift to Mumbai or not? But, uh, <laughs> you know. And I, I was very lucky and of course I did move, but I heard some uh, real horror stories yeah. wow. from people, from friends. Yeah. So you clearly fought through the flood to stay in Mumbai and I to make it here. Regardless. Oh, <laughs> so happy, so happy. <laughs> <Me really. too. laughs> I guess everybody has a story to tell when True. it comes to uh, Mumbai flood especially. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I remember I was in college and... Uh, we started just walking because everything else was shut. From where town? Uh, from town, yeah. From Church Gate to Lower Parel. And Pani was Barte Jara tha. And then, you know, you could keep hearing people saying that Aage mat jana, Aage yeah, right. kuch khula hai, you know, manholes yeah, are open. Yeah. Yeah. And it was just such a scary situation. There's lack just, of information also. Lack of information too. Of course, it wasn't like Instagram and you know, yeah. Yeah. I think social, social media, media was filhal, ek tarike se help bhi karta hai. That's right. right. And also, it doesn't seem like it's whatever, 15, 18 years ago. It doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. People have the memories. Yeah. They are very immediate memories. Yeah. Logo yaad hai ki kya hua tha, hum kaha the, you know. And you said, 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 in a show, Mumbai Daddy is one, was an instant hit and it had the term of binge watching. I mean, you see that people have intense drama and they have to watch it fast fast because everybody wants to reach to, you know, a sense of satisfaction. So, what went in the making of this? I'm sure it must have been challenging to shoot the water sequences. Konkana? Yes, <laughs> it was for me because, you know, I did have some sequences which were in uh, pretty deep water. Uh, where, you know, uh, you know, part of the hospital, the basement area does get flooded and there's a whole action sequence there. I can't swim. And uh, I had to actually train a little bit because, you know, it's not easy to go underwater and do those action sequences, especially if you're not comfortable. And it's one thing, you know, when you practice it in a pool or you practice it in your swimming costume or, you know, some scuba diving outfit or something. 
but there what actually happened is that you know we are downstairs in a room which is which has a bed it has you know a desk it has files it has medicine strips so you're underwater with all these things wearing your full costume and everything and uh, in that scene we had constructed a pool in film city okay and in that same big pool so to speak there were also cars and all parked which we used in those sequences which we were shooting inside so you are also underwater the bed is also underwater the car is also <laughs> underwater the camera is also underwater so it's quite it was quite daunting for me so you do you st uh, still like swim you don't I swim? don't swim i'm going to learn now after after i have to learn yeah mumbai diaries has <laughs> motivated you to yes. swim. uh mohit tell us you know you've been a part of a oh, a fantastic television show and abhi bhi aapko devo ke dev mahadev se yaad karte hain and i believe that there was a time where you had to play an alternate character uh, in the show and it had taken a toll on your on you personally because the character was you know so dark and so grey uh is show me again you know there's there's so many stories that we hear and you are actually living it through through this show how how do you come out of characters when it gets so intense so i think when you're starting you know you tend to get a little carried away when in the beginning when you're you know too excited to act and you're new in the industry but i guess after a point when you have done some kind of body of work you really know uh, when to switch off when to switch on and it's not an effort that you have to make yeah. subconsciously your mind knows you know uh, this is the only limit which i can handle so initially yes we get too carried away with the you know characters trying to understand where was he born what was the time of birth what was the place of birth what was the direction of the moon at that time <laughs> was it a love marriage was it a arranged marriage you know where did we meet all that is irrelevant when you see it on the screen but in the beginning you're always very excited when you have certain kind of experience you realize okay little bit of information is good but we can manage with that limited information as well mm. so i think now sub, uh, somehow i know where to switch off myself and where to switch on what is the emotion uh, that is required for a particular scene and how deep i can go like in season 2 there are a lot of layers to uh, kaushik obera because he has gone through so much in the first season and uh, he's into, he's slightly in a dark space you know nikhil sir had mentioned it in the beginning you know mohit we want to show him it in a dark sp uh, space because there's a gap of 8 months and this guy has been at his home he hasn't stepped out for 8 months he's only done his legal battles and 8 months he has been at his place hmm. and uh, trying to think that how do i get back and he's really low right now so you decide how low you want to go and how deep you want to go i said okay i'll try so i tried it so you know as an actor i think by after some work you know when to go off and when to go on that's true wow but uh, it's it's also great that you know apne itne saalon mein jo kaam kiya hai both of you all uh, you all make sure that when you all started off it was that innocence of you know like you just mentioned that i want to get on to everything perfectly right you all you all have mastered the art of what needs to be grasped and what can't be you know just part of us it, it's great to have that barrier kongana my god you've done everything you're that super woman that i think you've heard of this i'm sure you must have heard of this 10000 times that there's nothing that kongana and sharma cannot do no no this is all nonsense but uh, there is there I, is then I let me let me tell you this before starting yeah. <laughs> anything yeah here though it was the swimming thing but of course that was only in the end it's not like it was there throughout but i always get very apprehensive and nervous before i start any project you know whatever it is i'm like are kaise ho payega kaise ho jayega have uh, there been times that you've regretted but while you're in a project ki you know very rarely jaya. very rarely and you uh, it, it has happened uh, once or twice i would say towards the early part of my career hmm. i think i've become a little more careful about choosing projects and a little more you know mental strength and uh, whatever it is strength of mind is there a little bit ki okay i have chosen this project for these these reasons and i will do my best and you make the best of things and um, you know it's not ki it's worked out or it doesn't work out there are so many factors mm -hmm. uh, which you cannot always tell while you're shooting right the, sometimes you have you know when because you are in the you're creating it in that moment and there are so many other elements other than the performance actually because what comes in a frame and the actors one part of it there are so many other things which are in the frame you know what are the colors what is the background what is the music what is the sound all these other things so everything comes together then when you watch it hmm. it's a finished product it's a different thing from what you are doing actually since you have also been directing hmm. and uh, you know that is such an important part because it just 
brings out a konkana uh, in the in the film that you do jab aap ek show ke liye haan bolti hai do you have to like actually keep your director's mind on the side and then just get into the shoes of an actor you know i have uh, i am mainly an actor only i've i've always been like a working actor so and i've directed like barely one and a half films so i don't really consider myself like that first and foremost a director or anything i consider myself an actor i've done 50 plus films so i think i very that's my natural uh, that's the default that's right. the template ki i'm an actor only so i'm again early in my career there were times when i would be like are ye aise kyu ho raha hai wo aise kyu kiya ye nahi karna chahiye tha aise kuch thoughts aate the pehle uh but it's a great lesson also in detachment hmm. uh which is a great life lesson ki you know sab apne kaam kar rahe hain you have to be able to focus and do your job well you know and not ki wo kya kar raha hai ye kya kar raha hai like even right now what yeah. questions are you asking what are they doing if they are not doing the lighting or whatever properly they, i don't have to concern myself with those things so that is the training which has been there from the beginning i think that's great i think it's a learning to learn but for it's very really useful of, but you know there are a lot of people who are waiting for you to direct right <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> yeah, so sweet seriously yeah mohit is that a hint <laughs> no i would be thrilled I'm, I'm, it's a reminder <laughs> and that's true that's so true that's really true i mean with the projects that you have done it's it's so bigger and larger and wonderful that you have done that Thank we want you. to see Let's more see. of it <laughs> i want to this was my next question so, do you guys get these jitters that acha pehla season to aa gaya and it was such a big hit and there was so much of love i use the word you know how binge watching happens and uh, mohit tell us do you believe in this concept of binge watching sabse pehle do you like the concept yes <laughs> oh, we all love we it. Don't, i don't think anybody has the patience aap log ko waqt kahan milta hoga yaar kaise karte ho aap log binge watch karte hain aap ha ha whenever we, so i start only when i know ki <clears throat> i am going to finish it at 4 in the morning oh wow so let's start it and finish it i wish i was i was so dedicated when it came to studies i was binge watch binge watch all my textbooks maybe future modules will be like this <laughs> yeah. yeah but you know i i personally feel i mean this is what i feel binge watching it it is, the, the shows are meant to be uh, seen like that you cannot see it in the, okay let me see 3 4 episodes in this weekend yeah. now let me go back in next weekend i'll see 3 uh, 4 episodes and if the show keeps you hooked then the show has done the you know i want to say that sometimes these shows now they're very smart okay hmm. some of these ones yes, i think what ha no suddenly you know i sometimes i find middle of the i'm not talking about our show of course <laughs> but generally many times i find middle of the episode is can become a little dull thoda dila ho gaya hai sab kuch by then the last 10 minutes they really got it together you know yeah. taki you have want to watch no, the next one next one terrible but did you guys have jitters that acha season 2 aa raha hai you have to live up to the expectation that you know one was such a big hit i won't call it jitters but yeah because the record the track record of the digital uh, platforms ha- it has been like the second season has not uh, surpassed the success of first season that is i mean that is what i have heard everywhere so i i have this feeling that you know this will definitely Uh, gain a lot of love like uh, we we did it in uh, season 1 not because i am acting in it or you know i love the series because i think this series and the concept this time around the floods is more relatable hmm. first time around because of 26 11 there was a limited audience or limited people who would relate to it but everybody had heard it everybody knew about it but there were only less people who would relate to it floods is something that everybody can relate to True. you know everybody yeah. has seen it from K- kashmir to kanyakumari so i think everybody will relate to it and there will be lot and i don't think this i think this is the first series that has been made on on, on floods you know mm. it's not easy to be to make so definitely i mean yeah. i yeah. we are uh, when you're speaking about the shoot only i mean samajh mein nahi aa raha hai that how it must have been especially <coughs> for somebody who's not uh, comfortable swimming also my oh, god i'm scared of the water but i loved it's it i had fun <laughs> <laughs> I, i used to wait for someone to tell me sir ye area dry ho gaya i would like take the bucket and take the money le lo so basically after cut you're like oh mai zara ek butterfly mark raha tha freestyle kar ke i had fun i had fun <laughs> one thing that mumbai is known for and that's the mumbai spirit jo humne floods ke dauran dekhi what would you all define mumbai spirit as you know this is uh, such an interesting thing because yes of course it the the spirit of mumbai is admirable 
uh, you know, uh, we and uh, not all of us and especially, you know, perhaps people who have uh, fewer resources, uh, who are not as privileged, not as lucky, uh, they've had uh, an even tougher time. But the thing is, and, and we do say Spirit of Mumbai, it's true, we do go on. But often I wonder, you know, the many people who don't have a choice, hmm. they have to go on, you know. They cannot just uh, say, Ki, hai, ab rene do, I'm not going to step outside, I'm just going to stay at home, you know, protect my family, whatever it is, be at home. Yeah. But it's, everybody doesn't have that choice, you know. So, uh, I don't know what that is like. It's kind of, isn't it like saying that, yeah, I was beaten up as a kid, but I'm fine. But if you were not beaten up, we don't know what potentials you were, may have reached. Right. With creativity and love, you know, for example, I'm saying we are fine. Mm-hmm. And sometimes difficult experiences are meaningful. Mm-hmm. That is true. So it's a complicated thing, you know. I wish that we could have the kind of infrastructure where people didn't have to continuously, you know, show their resilience that's also. True, that's true. Mohit, do you have an answer to this? Well, I had a different answer, but when I, when I decided <laughs> no, yeah, to be quiet. Change. <laughs> yeah, change. Because what she's saying is completely right. So I just went back and thought about my early days in Kashmir when I was a small, you know, when we used to go to school. We never knew that, you know, what is going to happen, are we going to come back, are we not going to come back. The school was burning, bags were burning. So, you know, but you had to get up the next day and you had to go uh, to the school. So that was the spirit we had uh, as uh, small children back then. So obviously, you know, you don't have a choice. What she said correctly, you have to get up and, you know, do your job. And so does, and being the financial capital, you, yeah. <laughs> it's not easy to sustain over here. So everybody has to get up and you move on. But having said that, I personally have seen the spirit of Mumbai when, uh, during the floods. Mm. I Because I was at the Bandra Kata Road and I saw how the school bus had gotten stuck, how people were helping each other to, you know, get the children out, putting them on the shoulders, helping each other, crossing them over, you know, trying to uh, uh, distribute biscuits and trying to give them some snacks or something like that. So I think that kind of unity, I haven't seen that often anywhere else. That's wonderful. Yeah. When people can come together yeah. with grace in times of crisis, there's real, I mean, that's unsurpassed. But I've seen people uh, telling the elderly people that you stay in the middle. You hmm. let us first see whether the roads, there's no hole and the yeah. manual is not open. Then you come and, you know, cross. So I... Really yeah, I remember that. there were residents, uh, people, uh, they were throwing biscuit packets inside right. the bus yeah. so that people yeah. could people just, could because they were stuck for eight hours. Yeah. Eight hours is what? Couldn't move, could not get up because you don't know which manhole is where, yeah. you know, stuff like that. On a lighter note, <laughs> on a lighter note, guys, Pankara, whenever we think about you, Mumbai and Barish, there's only wake up sit. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> There's only a wake up sir. I want to quickly ask you, you know, it's been so many years, what we're celebrating 14 years. 14 years. <laughs> what memories do you have? You know, we were just saying, in fact, uh, talking about Mumbai Diaries and the rain, that, that in that uh, we have really romanticized the rain. And uh, uh, that is also, that's beautiful. And it's, it's so nice because both these things actually coexist. And no, nothing is only one thing, isn't it, you know? I mean, everything has these different elements. And what we really need is that balance. Correct. But both things are true. Yeah. Now, I mean, the kind of love that we have got for uh, Iktara and for Wake Up Sid is really unparalleled. Uh, and uh, it's so long ago that I am also, you know, sometimes I'm also like, my God, I was also so small that time. You were a girl I in the city. Like, yeah, I was a girl in the city. Girl in the city. <laughs> and today I feel like, yes, you know, now this is a mature, serious kind of a story about the city. It's like just two ends of the same thing. Well, like I said, Mohit, you had something to say. No, see, yesterday, everybody was saying Aisha, Aisha, Aisha. And I gave yeah. myself, who is Aisha? <laughs> I had forgotten. <laughs> yes, yeah. Aisha yeah. and Aisha Sid. Yeah. Aisha Banerjee, the, the white kurtas. <laughs> and, you know, there's so many things attached to that film. Yeah. I think, again, you know, like you said, that uh, and it feels like this was kind of your story and we're so happy that the two of you all have come together with this season 2 mm-hmm. Mumbai Diary season 2 uh, streaming on Amazon Prime I'm looking forward to it I already two episodes but well, now you can binge hopefully now there's the yeah yes. of course a binge watch hoga. so congratulations thank and thank you. you so much guys thank, thank, thank you, you so, so much Urmi. thank you so much thank you for watching us on Bollywood Hangama Konkana Sen Sharma and Mohit Rain.
Hi, this is Mohit Rana. Hi, I'm Konkona Sen Sharma and you're watching us on Bollywood Hangama.